click on the bell. Once the bell is clicked, you will get all notification. Thank you. Hello everyone, please welcome and join me Easy Steps. Today I'm going to share with you another DIY project. I have my furry friends, Sheru and Bruno. Right now, whenever we jump into the pool, they bother us. So I'm going to build a fence around the pool. So I'm going to share with you what exactly I'm going to be doing. I'm going to install, this is five feet gate. I'm going to install the gate here. I'm going to put the post on the concrete, I'll drill the holes and put it there. This is six footer. What I've uh, done that uh, I have uh, the pole digger. I dig it. Good enough dirt. It's a two feet deep. So if I put my post down here, so that will give me level. And now I'm going to pour the concrete, which uh, is a really quick and fast, it will dry up. So what I'm gonna do, as you can see, so this is my bad boy, Sheru and Bruno. He's always a relaxed baby. So what I will be doing, one post here, another post I'm going to put it here because uh, my steel fencing is 93 inches. So I'm gonna bring one here, then I'm going to run another one here, the panel, one more panel here, and I'm going to block it all the way. The gate, I'm going to keep it there so that once we have a gate at night time, I will have a peace of mind that Sheru Bruno don't fall in the pool or some accident happen. That way, Sheru Bruno will be safe. So these are the steel fans I'm using it. These are 93 inches. These are pretty nice. It's a five feet in high. And they look really nice. I don't want to put a chain link next to my pole. If Sheru Bruno jump, then their nail can get stuck. And if you are doing a DIY project and you have a pet, that's one thing you need to keep in mind. Do not install a chain link fence. I do have a chain link fence around all my property. With the privacy cutouts. And then I have that Olander plants, the tall ones, which is a, we call also canal. So Sheru Bruno, I have nothing to worry. They will go on that side, so it's pretty safe. But if you're doing any fencing around anywhere where your pets are more often, they are more exposure, please do not install it because it's very common thing. They will jump and once they put their feet or the paws up there, then they will drag and their nails are gonna get tangled and that will be a really painful and that will be very disturbing if your pets get hurt. So I would suggest that use a steel fence, something like this, it won't harm your pet. This is exactly what I'm doing. Shero is always next to me. He wants to know what I'm doing. These are the screws, the diamond cut screws. They are provided with the kit and these are the brackets. So I'm installing these here and the one here, one on the bottom and the same thing gonna happen, one on his head. <laughs> Another pole on the other side, as I go along with the post, I'm going to share with you. You probably guys all remember that my lazy co-worker, this is my lazy co-worker, they always bothers me. Another one, Bruno, sitting right there next to me. They want to know what daddy is doing. So as soon as they start digging, they want to know. So I'm trying to match up all drill these. And this is the, my steel fencing. That's going to go up here. So in order to alignment, I'm just going to use a brick. 
So it will level, once I level it, put another brick on the other side, then I'll dig a hole, and another post. Once it's all leveled and I'm satisfied, that's the time I'm going to pour the concrete. I'm ready for my second post. You need uh, two person to work with. So I have my son holding on the other side of the panel. So right now I'm putting the panel right here. I'm keeping this much to the distance so it gives me the area where to dig a hole. So this is the area I'm going to dig the hole. So now I'm going to dig the hole about two feet. Then I'm going to move on to the next panel. When you are installing a steel panel fence, it's a good idea that uh, you go one at a time. But uh, if you know what you are doing exactly, one thing I would suggest at the top, you draw a line and then you can mount all these at the same time. If you put it at the bottom also, and if they are misaligned a little bit, then you're gonna have a problem. So the best way to do it, do it one at the top. So we're going to install it one at the top, and the bottom one, we align it, and then at that time, we're going to install it. That's it. This is the way we're going to do it. The door side, we only need two. All other ones, we're going to need four. Two on this side, and two on the back side. And the last one also going to need two. I'm going to finish up the rest. I'm going to show you one more. This is a really easy, it's not that hard. It's a good DIY project and you enjoy it and you save a lot of money. that uh, we make holes and we put to the bracket which is L angle and we put this one two on the top and the, the bottom one as I indicated we're gonna do it later. Place the two panels, I dig a hole, share your thirsty, I put the screws and put the bracket. Now I can put bracket in there and we can force that one in and now we can align it here and now I'm going to put the screw. We're going to fit the panel to the post. And my posts are still freely moving. Once I'm going to done with the other post and the steel panel, then we're going to pour the concrete. So I'm ready for the third panel. This is going to be a little harder. I'm going to remove the papers. Then I'm going to dig two feet. And these are the backers gonna go in there. So I'm done with my third post. I removed the paper, so I'm going to reuse again. I inserted the panel, and we're going to put another bracket at the bottom right now. And now my next project will be, so we're going to align it once uh, we see everything is in order. It will be a perfect. So now I put this one on. So I'm just going to make sure that these papers these papers, we're going to remove it. And I'll dig a hole. This is my number four panel. This one slides in. Perfect. It looks like a little wobbly here and there. It's only the reason we haven't poured the concrete and the bottom bolt, we haven't put it on. I'm going to dig another hole. Then I'm going to bring the final steel fence right up here. So that will complete uh, our the fencing and then I'll finish up the gate. And look at how beautiful it's already started looking. Nice. And my Sheru, Bruno, they are relaxing down there under the shade. So I have the last piece installed and now I need to put uh, the two brackets at the bottom. My pool fence or steel fence, whatever you call is all ready. So I'm going to use the fast setting concrete mix. So this one uh, really sets up uh, in 30 minutes and my lazy co-worker is already here. Sheru boy is here. So what are we going to do? We're going to... Sheru, stay away from cement. It's not good for you. No. See, Bruno is away. Go back. Go. Go. 
I said go back. Cheru, this is not good for you. Go. They always bother me. Use a mask. As we pour the water, steak or something, you just to make sure that uh, the water penetrates through by just using a knife. And I'm gonna pour more. And within half an hour, it will be set, but uh, the proper setting time is uh, six hours. So after six hours, it's gonna be rock solid. So I'm going to finish up uh, all the other ones the same way. So this is the post. Uh, I have the pavers on. We all set. The fence is installed and now only part is left to put the gate on. I'm using a concrete drill. I'm drilling those holes and these are 516 by two and a half uh, sleeve anchor bolt. So these are the bolt stud. So I'm going to insert all the way in. I'm going to hammer it down. Then I'm going to tighten this. Once I'm going to tighten it, these will expand, open up. And what it will do, it will seal into the concrete and it's going to go through the post to what I'm Exactly, it's gonna go like this. I'm going to make a hole a little bigger. So once these go, and that's it. It's gonna go and it's gonna fit. And that's my uh, lazy co-workers out there helping me out with my project. That's a share room. And the Bruno is just sitting right there. This is what they do when I'm working. They're moving around, they're doing things. So I'm going to make this hole bigger and this is how it's going to be. The hole needs to be get bigger. Once it gets bigger then uh, it's easy. These are regular bits and these are the concretes. I'm going to see it drops in. Yeah, this is it. That's what I wanted to see that it fully drops in. And I'm going to make it a little more deeper. And that's my lazy co-worker. They always give me a hard time. You have to go that side, Cheru. Go. Go. This is what they do all the time. <laughs> so that's my lazy co-worker. He wants to probably drink water. That's why he came down. You want to go that side? Cheru, don't bother me so much, man. Go. Go! Go! It's clear. Go! Go! Good boy. This is all they do. The, my lazy co workers, they are not a lazy co worker. You want to inspect what I'm doing? Go! Go, down. Go to your bed. Cheru! Neighbor has the two dogs, uh, the boxer, and they come down here. Go to sit down. Cheru, go to bed. Be a nice boy. Let me finish your job. Good boy, you're a good boy. Go to go sit down over there. Oh, this is what I get the distraction. Working here, there. They have my work. If you go down there, you're gonna get in trouble. You understand? Sit down. Lay down. I don't want it shaken. Lay down. Down. Thank you. And Bruno, you too. You both stay here, okay? And you better don't get up. Shero is a such. Uh... <laughs> I don't know. I have to say he's a good dog because they are, uh, you know, protecting uh, our boundaries. They don't want anyone to come down <laughs> because their house has two dogs. 
<laughs> and uh, a boxer and a golden retriever. So something, you know, he wanted to make sure that he is the one uh, most powerful or whatever, you know. Bruno is a mellow down. He don't does it. He used to do it before if some dog were next door. But uh, Chiru is, uh, I don't know. So while I'm working, this is what they do. My lazy co-worker series goes on, you know. I'm finishing up my project and I'm getting all kind of distractions. So I'm going to make sure that this hole gets bigger. What do you want to do now? This is what he does. <laughs> it's, just, it's just bothering. It's just bothering. <laughs> it's bothering too much. <laughs> uh, now I think I'm done with this one. So this is the hole is done. So this is good. So we have this lamp. First I'm going to place it, put it in, like that, like that. I just wanted to show it to you how it's going to work. Okay. Once we put it in, now the easy work. We need to just tighten these. See, I just tightened a little bit. It's already getting solid. And that's my Bruno. Other worker. <laughs> And watch, once I'm gonna done with this one, and he's gonna come and he, he's gonna inspect, he's already here. The inspector is here. Why, you wanna check what dad doing? Yeah? You wanna see what dad is doing? Okay, go check, come check. He just wanted to make sure that I'm doing good job. Actually, he's just making sure daddy's working hard. <laughs> yeah, go, go play. Now let me work, okay? Sheru, don't bother me now, okay? Man, this guy... Sheru, you giving me a hard time. See another skunk today? Or raccoon? I think I saw something running over the fence. I think a raccoon. That's why he got crazy. And he... Crazy guy. Break my pot. <laughs> Cheryl, you giving our time to daddy. Daddy has to finish work. Only two bolts I have to tighten it. And this is strong. So I'm gonna finish up the other two the same way. I have secured my poles. Now I got a problem. I put the gate. I put the hinge. The one uh, opens it and locks in. Then I put the three screws on this side. So that covers the base of locking mechanism. This will fit right here, no issue. This one will fit, no problem. This will swing like that. But I got a problem. How I'm going to make the fit on this side? The door hinges, they close open this way. What I'm gonna do, I'll put three right here, holes, and then this is the smaller area. And I'm going to put it like this. So once I'm going to put it, I'm going to bolt in. If I use a screw, then the door's going to swing and its chances is going to come off. So I'm going to use these smaller bolts. Then I'm going to use one hinge over here. What do you want, guy? That's my colleague. He want to know, Dad, everything okay? You need help? <laughs> Shero, I'm okay. Uh, you want to come on this side? I'll let you go. I'll put the hinges and I'll show you. Perfect. Let's see. It opens up. Perfect. I don't think I need to put the third here. And that's it. Now my co-worker is here, he's going to check. Daddy is behind the bar. Oh, Daddy is behind the bar. <laughs> Chiru, Daddy is behind the bar. I lock myself. So that's how easy to put the fence, any fence. See, Bruno is here uh, with the ball as soon as we are talking. So what 
basically I'm saying if you're a DIY person it's really easy and simple to do any work so don't get discouraged be comfortable and be confident if I can do it you can do it and if you like this video if this video helped you out in any way in your DIY project and please don't forget to hit like and share and also please don't forget to watch my furry boys my Sheru and Bruno the lazy co-worker thank you for joining easy stuff and here you go Bruno that's my lazy co-worker he's gonna come back he knows that mom is standing right there he's not gonna go from that side and that's my other lazy co-worker right there okay guys thank you